didn't know anybody who owned a business coming to Atlanta, it was just like, wow, you own a barbershop? You own a hair salon? It motivated and inspired me to say, well, let me try this. If they can do it, I can do it. My name is Caroline Green, also known as Gigi, the owner of Gigi Brows. I am a brow bar and I also have products. So you can come to me and get your brows waxed, your brows filled in. You can also get a semi-permanent tattoo. So we are like a one-stop shop for brows. I mean, to take the art of eyebrows and be booked out for months at a time, to have that personality that just lights up a room when she enters, is proof that people will come if you are the light. Me doing eyebrows, it wasn't taken seriously as a actual career because of my lifestyle. Now people are like, oh, she does brows. <laughs> Faith is number one in starting my business. I would say the transition from being a makeup artist to becoming a brow artist started once I realized that production life wasn't for me. But I was just like, what else can I do that would still be in my industry but still creative and artistic. And I ended up freelancing for Anastasia. She is the one and only top tier brow artist. So I called the account executive and I asked if I came to LA, could I get trained by her? And they said, yes. And so when I came back, my work, it just really improved. And that's how I was able to grow my clientele. And then later, the Instagram became a trend. You know, I had my website with GoDaddy. I had the Facebook page doing before and after pictures. It just really upped my brow game. So it was so worth it. And I'm glad that I was proactive about it and not afraid to ask the question. Because I mean, the only thing they could have said was no. You know, you go into something like Gigi and you, and you do makeup and you start you know, realizing, wait, I can do makeup, but I do this the best. And she honed in on her super skill, and that defines Atlanta and the opportunities here. You go in doing one thing, you come out doing many. I would hear my clients say, what's a good brow pencil? I like the shape of my eyebrows, but I don't really like the wax. It was just like, okay, well, what if I could create something of my own instead of, you know, saying, hey, buy so-and-so's brand, how I created my own wax was I was a brand ambassador for a really big brand. And when I was talking to some of the other ladies, they're like, yeah, I'm gonna ask for a raise. Like, what are you getting? And I was just like, wait, y'all getting paid? My husband said, start your own line. And that birthed my waxing kits, ultra sensitive cream wax, my non woven strips. The quality is there and I take my brand seriously. If it's not something that I would use, I'm not gonna sell it. No one's gonna post their losses on social media. So it looks like you're always winning, but you're not. So it's not all vacationing and eating in nice restaurants. It's real work put into this. Every day I'm doing something pertaining to my business. Where if you work a nine to five, when you're off at five, you're off. So you have to really have a passion for it because if you're just chasing money, good luck. In Atlanta, you see more black successful people. It was a breath of fresh air. It was just like, oh my goodness, like if they could do it, I can do it because I can see it. This is art, y'all. This is not this is not for fame. Now she tattoos on I mean, on people's faces. That is a very intense skill. And she teaches. I mean, we have a savant that is here to stay. So Gigi Green, we salute you, icon of Atlanta. Mm -hmm.